Again, we've gone through the front end and dashboard views of the landing page template described in this tutorial. But let's take a few minutes and go through the code. Let me get back up to the top. I'm not going to break this down line by line since I assume you don't want to be here all day, but instead we'll just kind of review. If you have any questions after watching and reviewing the files, definitely let me know. I made this as enormous as possible so it's easier to see. So the first 54 lines of this template are actually what you get with the stock Genesis sample uh, landing page template. I did modify the body class up here. It's usually landing dash page, I believe. Uh, this way, if you used the original landing page template and you're not replacing it with the new one, my CSS isn't going to take over on your old pages. So we wanted a unique body class that's just going to apply to this template. You'll see that most of the stock template involves removing elements. They remove the skip links, uh, they remove the header, the menus. If you want to add any of these things back, just remove the line that takes them away. For example, maybe I want my footer widgets to show on my landing page. So if I do, I'm going to look at this line that removes the footer widgets and I'm just going to take it out. And then once I save or upload this back to my site, I'll have the landing page plus the footer widgets. And then if I end up putting this back, then the footer widgets are going to go away again. Line 56 is where my customizations start. I started out by removing the page title. I don't want anything on this page other than my custom fields and the output that I've chosen. So I took that away. I also removed the site inner wrap. Uh, this allows each section to take up the full width of the browser instead of being inside a container that's got a max width and you get the margin on either side. Uh, and this is how if I go back to the demo, like this green section goes all the way across. Even if I make my browser full, full width, it's still got that background. Um, I removed the edit link just because I always do. It drives me crazy to see it there, so it's gone. And then here, I'm loading the separate style sheet for the landing page CSS. Now, if you've opted to add the CSS uh, in your theme or in a custom CSS plugin, you are going to want to take these lines out. It's lines 65 through 69. Just remove those entirely so that that style sheet doesn't load. Now we're ready to start displaying the custom fields. This first section right here is the optional logo that goes at the top of the page. Um, I've added the logo to the Genesis entry header hook. That's the topmost part of our page once the header has been removed. So your normal header that has your site logo and maybe a menu, that kind of thing, it's been removed from earlier in the template so the first thing on the screen right now basically is the Genesis entry header. Right here I have a conditional to see whether a logo image has been added. So if we go back into the editor screen it's looking to see is there an image right here. If there's not it's just going to move on. If there is though it's going to output this HTML. I want to point out here that I have opted to end PHP, you'll see that right here, and I switch to HTML and then down here at the bottom to end the function and to end the conditional I've switched back to PHP. This is a preference on my part but for those of you who asked for this tutorial because you wanted to learn I think it's easier especially if you're not very comfortable with PHP, you are probably more comfortable with HTML, so this is kind of easier to follow along. In looking at the HTML though, you'll see several instances where I go back to PHP to get the contents of the custom field. In the case of the logo, I don't want a hard-coded link 
because if a client wants to go in and edit that, for example, if they change their domain or they, I don't know, build a new site, I don't want them to have to come into their code editor and try to edit this template and potentially mess it up. So instead, it can be changed dynamically by editing the page and changing that custom field. And in our template, it's just saying whatever's in that field, get it and put it here. So that makes it really easy to edit and change. This next section is pretty enormous. Uh, this begins the output of the flexible content layouts. I've labeled each of the layout options so that you can kind of get an idea of the code that creates it. And in each, in each case, we're checking to see which layout was chosen. And then we output our HTML and then occasionally we break back into PHP to get the fields that were entered in the editor. Uh, when I build templates like this, you'll notice just about everything has got a class on it. There's a div class, here's an h2 class, um, here's a great big div class. I like to do that so that you have lots of elements to style. So if you build your landing page and you see something you don't like, you should be able to really easily use Firebug or Inspector and see exactly where you can add or change something to make it look the way you want. And then at the end of our file, we are running the regular Genesis loop. So up above, we've made changes to what's going to happen when the loop runs. And essentially what we've done is remove everything. Uh, there's no content in the regular editor box. So all the changes that we've made above are saying, okay, when you get to the entry header, let me go back. So when you, we're going to remove all this junk first. When you get to the entry header, do this if there's a logo image. When you get to the entry content, we're going to do all this stuff. And then at the end, we're saying, okay, go. So that is just a brief overview, very brief, of the template. Um, again, if you have any questions or run into trouble trying to implement this, let me know. Please leave me a comment and let me see what you built with this template. Um, it was really fun to build with other people in mind to see what might work for them. So I can't wait to see what you use it for.